When searching mythology for rare and unique supernatural creatures, they can be found across all regions, and today we'll be taking a look at some Eastern Asian mythology with the Chiyolin, or the Kirin as it's referred to in Japan. The Chiyolin is composed of several different animals, much like the Chimera of Greek mythology, and it appears in Chinese, Japanese, and Korean mythology. It is often depicted as having the body of a horse or a deer, but its body is covered in fish scales and sometimes engulfed in fire, not too dissimilar to that of the Chinese dragon. Over time its depictions have slowly changed, with some having a singular horn, leading to the Chilin being compared to the unicorn, and sometimes even being referred to as the Chinese unicorn. The Chilin's origins are rooted in Chinese mythology, but it does appear in other regions of Asia, going by the name of the Kirin in Japan and the Girin in Korea. Sightings of the Chilin were often few and far, as they were widely regarded as one of the rarest and most powerful creatures. They would only appear during the reign of a good and just ruler, or before the death and birth of a sage. The Chilin was a regal and revered creature that was only seen in the wild during times of peace and harmony. Many believed that its presence would signal the start of a golden age. The creature is normally shown as calm and benevolent, refusing to harm other creatures and even walking on small clouds as to not damage a blade of grass. The Chilin would never do harm to any soul that it considers to be good and pure, but when threatened, the Chilin can incinerate anything with its breath of holy fire. The Chilin for the most part keeps its supernatural powers hidden until it feels the need to defend itself or other people from the actions of evildoers. The purity of the Chilin has led to the animal being seen as a symbol of justice and wisdom, with many considering them to be omens of good fortune. Because of the Chilin's association with greatness, it was quite common for Chinese emperors to desire the appearance of one, as this would help legitimize their reign and enhance their reputation amongst their people. There is a tale of a Ming emperor in the 15th century who returned to China after a voyage from East Africa with his fleet. With him he bought a pair of giraffes. These giraffes were acquired from merchants when his fleet landed in modern day Somalia. The emperor claimed that these animals were magical, and he used them as a way to legitimize his greatness. This led to many of the Chinese people associating and comparing the giraffe and the Chilin. This could also be seen in other cultures, as the Japanese word for giraffe is very similar to that of Kirin. The Chilin is a truly fascinating creature, not only because its appearance is unique and majestic, but because it shows us that looks can be deceiving. It may appear as a fierce and dangerous creature that you would never wish to come across, but that is the exact opposite of what the Chilin truly is. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, then let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. But as always, I've been your host, Mythology and Fiction Explained.